Joining me now to discuss Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Davis, a defense property senior fellow and former CIA oper operations officer, Claire Lopez, uh, senior vice president at the Center for Security Policy. Claire, let me start with you. Uh, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's interesting because North Korea continues to ratchet up the language to the point where it feels like they're actually trying to bait the United States into acting first. Yes, it does in a way, doesn't it? And um, I think that the uh, president of the United States, President Trump, is uh, not going to take that bait, but at the same time, uh, I think has made very clear uh, in his own statements and through his ambassador at the United Nations, uh, Nikki Haley, uh, that the United States will defend uh, the mainland, the, uh, the people, the citizens of the United States, and all of those who are Americans, including in Guam. We will defend our allies as well. When, when do we, though, because the provocations, Claire, continues to rat, they ratchet higher and higher, uh, and it feels like we've drawn some red lines, and, and every time we do that, uh, uh, Kim Jong-un just uh, goes after them. So when do the provocations get to the point where we might actually have to act? I think the, uh, the, the, the situation of North Korea having uh, the demonstrated ability to put an ICBM uh, with a nuclear warhead, perhaps even with an EMP above uh, the United States or one of our territories or even our allies, is an unsustainable situation. I think at some point um, something will have to be done to change that situation, whether it be uh, through extreme financial pressure, uh, through the assistance of the, right. the Chinese regime in Beijing, uh, regime change perhaps in Pyongyang itself.